It's best food and live performance. Plus, it's going towards a great cause. Melissa's in studio getting a preview of Feast to the Streets. Not official until you put the clown notes on. That's right. On, right? You can't do it without a clown note. <laughs> all right, let's introduce all of our, our characters here. What's your name? My name is TJ. And you are kind of our juggler, yes? Yes, I am. Wow, how long have you been doing that? Uh, about two years. Yeah. But I've, uh, throughout the years, I've definitely been doing all the monkey business I can. All uh, right, okay, so go ahead and start. And you are? I'm Jenna. Ricky. Send in. Is that, is that your clown name? Send yeah. in the clown. Yeah. Send in the clown. Ah, <laughs> I totally fell for that. All right, and uh, Karen here. Yes, so yeah, uh, tell us a little bit about the event. All right, so Wednesday night, we're going to gather for Feast in the Streets. It's a fundraiser for Francis House Center, providing services for the homeless in Sacramento. So we've sold a lot of tickets, but we still have a few left. We'd love you to come out. Sac Cirque is performing along with several other street performers. We're going to have a chance to get a tattoo, tag a wall, get a picture in a street rod, all kinds of fun things. <laughs> really, really a gritty street feel for the event. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and obviously goes to help a great cause. Now, these are all the Sac Cirque folks, yes? That's right. Now, how, how, I got to ask, like, how, how long does it take to practice something like that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, you practice forever. You never stop getting better. That's yeah, for you, sure. you just keep moving. Yeah, Can you I run these things? Oh, oh, really? It's like that. <laughs> so you balance this and you twirl it around. Yeah. Is there I an think art it all to it? Acts as a uh, rest. Oh, okay, um, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there's absolutely art to it. You can do all kinds of things up here. You can juggle up here. You can do flow toys up here. Wow, um, you can do. Okay, now we we need to get right back into this one here. How long have you always been this flexible? Um, yeah, I've been naturally flexible. I actually started gymnastics. When I was three years old, and I got into yoga like seven years ago, and I moved more into contortion in the past two years. Okay, can we see? Can we see your contortion abilities? Not that we don't believe you, but it's just very impressive. It makes for tremendous television. Ah, does that hurt? It doesn't. No. <laughs> Is it hard it's to talk hard to while talk you're doing that? You're yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just makes me nervous watching, right? Okay, so you're gonna get down to do it now, right? Oh, you're yeah. next. Yeah, yeah, let's do Thing, it. All right, yeah, dramatic instant replay. Here we go. Exactly, exactly <laughs> the same. Oh, yeah, that, yep, that's exactly how Cody or myself would do it. <laughs> and uh, we break some. All right, if people wanna come out, how do they get tickets? So, feastinthestreets.com. Tickets are $50, which is a great deal. We have about 14, 15 restaurants there. We've got bars, hoppy brewery, wine. So everything is included. And come on out. $50 uh, on the website, feastinthestreets.com. $60 at the door. All right. And what fun is it going to be? Like Cody said, cancel your plans. Back over to you. Yeah, that's right. Whatever you got planned, it's not going to be as fun as that. That's for sure. All right. 